that last recording probably probably sounded um like I was fucking delirious. Um but that's just cause it was at the same time as it is now. It was recorded at the same time. Um about five AM. Um you know, I saw this thing. Um I think it was two writers talking or something. And it was um, you know, this kind of sleep de- deprived state can get you um some pretty interesting like creative results if you just let your mind kind of um kind of flow with his thoughts of, of um at this time and so um I thought that was pretty interesting um and I'm getting up at five a m anyway just because I said I would so why not um record it this time as well um so yeah um studying right now is going well i feel like um discipline combined with know it like an increase in knowledge on how to study um you know and my actual ability to study is increasing as well it's just always increasing along with my discipline and those two things go very well together and they can you know produce some pretty incredible results if they're both um, working in tandem and so as a result of that my um, you know my day to day work has been getting better you know maybe not like unnecessarily visually just yet but um, you know the act of learning is definitely um, becoming more efficient for me Um, which is good right because you know Aside from good painting skills, knowledge of, of of various subject matter is necessary in painting. Is necessary in designing, rather. I guess not painting. Um, so yeah, it's going very very well. Um, the gym is also going well. Uh, I'm still in a cast. I will be for a while, which means um, only leg training for the foreseeable for the near future. Um, I hit a front squat PR. I've been hitting front squat PRs, um, which is great, right? They're really doing a number on my upper back. They're doing a lot of um, work on my traps, on my upper traps, which is surprising, I guess. Um, Yeah, and just being more vertical when squatting is um, very interesting. It targets my legs so much more than um, than a back squat would. A back squat, you know, would um, really light up my posterior chain, maybe more than it should. But front squats um, really allow me to target the quads. I've been doing a lot of um, Hindu squats as well. They also light up the quads. Um... And good mornings have been really helpful to, to allow me to carry on to carry on targeting the um, posterior chain. So um, and all of them I've been hitting very solid, consistent PRs in, even if it's not in weight. If it, it can be in um, you know weighted sets or you know, the amount of reps I do, there's always some kind of improvement going on. Um, I'm gonna have to listen to this over again. Just to check how, like, clear my voice is. Because I know on the last one I sounded pretty, um, pretty crazy. <laughs> so, um, I'll watch this one over again. Um, and see if it's something that I'll be able to do, you know, going into the future. If not, you know, if my voice is literally just too, um, mumbly at this time. Just as a result of me, and my, me having just woken up. Then, um, it is what it is, but, um... I think it's pretty convenient. As long as, you know, no one doesn't wakes up and hears me outside rambling like a weirdo. Uh, should be alright. I think it's quite nice because you have the, um, the bird song in the background as well. You know, it kind of gives like a nice, you know, ambiance to the, to the recording. Um, 
Yeah, what else? What else? What else? I always reach the conclusion I find too early. Maybe I should go into more detail about my studying. Um, I was studying more art that doesn't necessarily necessarily relate to sci-fi. Um, and seeing how I can take those ideas and implement them into sci-fi. Which has been very fun. Um, you can get a lot of cool results when you start to mix up, mix and match ideas like that. Which I guess is the essence of creativity, right? It's taking someone else's ideas or multiple people's ideas and then kind of mashing them together to make something new. Um, you know, because no one idea is 100% ori- original. So there will be always some um, influence from other sources. I guess it's how well you can hide that and how well you can manipulate it to look more original, right? Um, But yeah, that's been very fun. And just studying, you know, artists I actually admire and that I actually, um, you know, look at on a day-to-day basis and being able to take the ideas and implement them to something that I'm currently working on, which is sci-fi robots, right? Um, but yeah man it's been very good the um, robot pencil course is really uh, paying off Um, you can definitely tell or you definitely get the vibe of you know you're getting the some of the best advice that can really be be got in this industry if you take it right Um, even if you're already good like pretty damn good at art which i'm not i'm not saying i am but um you know i'm saying that if someone who, who was already good at art maybe even if they already had a job and they were already like a good established concept artist they took that course they could still stand to learn a massive amount um so yeah it's highly recommended and it's really helping me kind of push forward with my studying and learning because i i went into this class with the intention of um, focusing on my weaknesses in particular. So, you know, sci-fi is a massive weakness of mine. So why not, you know, if I'm doing a course, why not do it based around my biggest weakness so I can improve it, improve the fastest, essentially. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. And that's about it, to be honest. Um, you know, more studying, more discipline studying coming soon. Um, more videos coming soon. Obviously, it's a daily fucking channel, so yeah. Um, I hope my voice doesn't sound too crazy and sluggish and lethargic and shit. But we'll see, won't we? All right. Um. Cool. Yeah. Bye.